Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I want to alert you to a potential issue with Adobe's Creative Cloud and at the very least iPhones and possibly this is going to happen with Android devices as well. This is a salutary lesson and it's um, absolutely horrifying to me and this is what I found. This is how I troubleshot it and this is how I fixed it up and if you're running Adobe apps on your iPhone or your Android device you may want to watch this because this is horrifying stuff. So what happened was that I had a computer crash, a really old computer crash. It had an old operating system and the operating system was so old I was never able to install Creative Cloud on it. I had to go and buy a brand new computer, which I did. And because I had a spare install, you get two installs for a Creative Cloud subscription. So I had a spare install. I thought I would put it on this new computer. So on the brand new computer, I sat down and typed in creativecloud.com. I logged in with my login and this is the screen that I got. And because I know that I need the Creative Cloud application to be able to install all my apps, I just clicked on this to go and get it. So this is the point at which my problem started. I've removed the photos, but in this area here, when I clicked on that link, were photos from my iPhone camera roll. They were really recent photos, so they were photos that I'd shot within the last week. They were also the kind of photos that you and I shoot with our iPhone camera. We just pop off a few photos here and there of your cat and whatever. They were photos that were personal to me and when I clicked on this link my photos were sitting there and I was totally gobsmacked because they were photos that I'd shot with my iPhone camera not with an Adobe application and here they were from my phone camera roll up on Creative Cloud Online. They're two completely different companies. One's Adobe and one's Apple. And my photos, which I would have considered to be tied up in an Apple application, were suddenly here on Adobe's Creative Cloud. And I was just horrified. So I needed to work out really, really quickly what was happening. And so what I did was I poked around all of these clickable links here. I went to your work, for example. I went to all the apps to see if I could see the photos because the first thing I wanted to do was just delete them off here because they're not supposed to be here. They're behind passwords on my phone, not up here on a web browser. I was just absolutely horrified. So wherever I went in any of these areas, I just clicked on everything. I could not find them. But what I did see was something that was happening here was that there was 2.3 gigabytes. Well, that's what's left. There was actually at the time about eight gigabytes used. And I also saw go to Lightroom. And so I wondered whether perhaps that had the answer. And so I clicked to go to Lightroom. And when I got to Lightroom, all the photos that had been on that previous web page were here in front of me. So effectively, Lightroom was now showing me all the photos from my camera roll on my iPhone that I had shot with my iPhone camera. But of course, I also have Lightroom CC on my iPhone. And now that I could see where in part the problem was, I recalled that in Lightroom CC on my iPhone, I'd given it permission to access my camera roll. What I hadn't realized it was when I gave Lightroom CC on my iPhone access to my camera roll, that it would also sync those photos from my camera roll up to Adobe's Creative Cloud. Now I'm going to interrupt myself just briefly at this point because there's something else I forgot to say. And that is that I have not used Lightroom CC on my phone for months. So it hasn't actually been accessed. I haven't shot anything with it. I haven't had it open. And yet in the background, it has been crunching away, syncing photos from my camera roll to Adobe's Creative Cloud, even though I haven't been using the app. So just please be aware of that. This is unbeknownst to me, not only has it been hogging obviously internet connection, but also it's been lifting photos from my camera roll and just chuffing them up to Adobe's website. Okay, that's all I want to say. Let's get back to this. So just shock horror, absolutely gobsmacked and quite concerned about what was happening. 
Well, my first thought was to go to my iPhone and turn that feature off. Well, when I clicked on Lightroom CC on my iPhone, all I got was loading photos and I couldn't actually get into it. So effectively, Lightroom CC had broken on my phone. So it wasn't possible for me to start solving my problem, if you like, from the iPhone end. So I'm left with looking here in Lightroom CC online at all of my camera roll photos. Well, my first step was to remove them. So what I did in here, because there's no select all option, is I clicked on the first of my photos and I went all the way down to the last of the camera roll photos that I needed to delete. And I held down the shift key and clicked on the last of them. And so that selected all of them and there were hundreds upon hundreds of them. And I clicked here on delete and waited and they were eventually all deleted. Now, what I left behind was photos here that I actually didn't want to delete. These are photos that I'm quite happy with having inside Lightroom CC because they were actually shot with Lightroom CC on my iPhone. So that's fine. This selection's perfect, but none of those camera roll photos did I ever anticipate would be uploaded to Adobe Creative Cloud. So I cleared them out of here. On my phone, I still can't get into Lightroom CC. So my thought is I'm going to just delete the application off my phone. But here's the problem. I have all these photos that I shot and processed with Lightroom CC on my phone. I don't want to lose them. And so the first thing that I need to do is to go and get these downloaded. Now, when you select all these photos, you'll see that you just get the option to delete or add to or share. You don't get the option to download. So before we progress any further, let's go and see how we're going to download these photos. So we make sure that we protect the photos that we care about and make sure that we have a copy of them before I go ahead and remove the Lightroom CC application from my phone and reinstall it. So if you determine that you want to download your photos from the Lightroom CC application, you won't be able to do that in bulk without the Adobe Lightroom Downloader app. So you'll go to the Adobe website and I've given you the link below. And once you get there, you need to click to download the downloader. But you will need to make sure that you're using a supported operating system, which is Windows 10, or if you're using a Mac, it's OS X 10.1 three or later. And so my machines don't all run Windows 10. I've had to find a machine that actually does run Windows 10 to be able to download this and use it. Call that inconvenient? Well, I do too. So let me go ahead and download this. So I just paused the video while that was downloading because it took nearly 20 minutes on my machine. I have a slow internet, but it's a huge file. So I'm going to click to show in Explorer and I'm going to double click to open this up. And now I'm going to run the setup. So I'm going to disable the help information because I'm not feeling the love with Adobe right now. I'm going to click begin. At this point, I'm going to need to sign in. So I'm now logged in and I need to choose a folder on my computer where I can download these files to. So I'm going to just put them in my documents, but I am going to create a new folder for them. And I'll click to start the download. Now I'm going to let this run until it is complete. I've now let the application run and it's successfully downloaded 58 photos. Clicking here to open the download report tells me that there were 57 originals downloaded and one edited version. I can also go direct to the folder into which the photos were downloaded. Now they're going to be downloaded into date specific folders. So we can assume here that the only photos that I still have uploaded to Lightroom CC on the Adobe Cloud were all dated 2017 and they're going to be stored on your computer. They're downloaded into folders by the date that they were shot. 
Now, when you go into those folders, you're going to notice that there are Sidecar XMP files for any of the images that you have edited. So even though I shoot DNG, and typically DNG images in Lightroom on the desktop would have the changes stored in the DNG file. That's the purpose of DNG images. In this case, we have Sidecar XMP files. So you'll need to make sure that the XMP files travel alongside the DNG files, otherwise you'll be losing your edits as you progress. So now that I've downloaded all the photos that I'd shot with Lightroom CC on my phone, I've got them safely on this computer. And what I've done is I've created a brand new Lightroom catalog and I've imported the images into that Lightroom catalog. Now to prove to myself that those Sidecar XMP files are actually being applied to the images, because some of these are looking a little bit on the disappointing side. They're not looking as good in Lightroom on my PC as they were on the phone. Just going to select one of these photos and I'm in the develop module. And if I click reset, we'll go back to what it looked like in camera. And so obviously the XMP files are being read. So I'm just going to press Control C to undo that and just apply those changes to the image. And you can see here that there are changes to the image. There are things that have been applied to the image. There's probably some sharpening in here as well that was applied in the Lightroom CC application on my phone. So I've satisfied myself that all the images that I care about that I shot on my phone and that were uploaded to Creative Cloud are safely somewhere. Somewhere where Creative Cloud, if I start deleting things, is not going to be able to get to them. So the next step, of course, is to go to my iPhone and for me to delete my Lightroom CC application because it's not functioning and then reinstall it and make sure that this time I don't select to give it access to my camera roll. That's going to be really, really important. So if you're concerned that this might be happening to you, this is what you should do. The first thing is you'll go to your web browser and you'll type in creativecloud.com. You'll log in with your ID and password and check out to make sure that you don't see photos that should not be here in this area here. You can also then go to the Your Work area, click on that. Here you'll be able to see all sorts of things that you have synced with Creative Cloud. Now I have some libraries synced and that's fine. That is what I would expect to see here. But this is where the real problem was. It was in this 2.3 or whatever number of gigabytes have been used. And what I did at this point was click to go to Lightroom and see what it was that Adobe Creative Cloud had access to of my images. And if you find that your images are also from your camera roll being uploaded to Creative Cloud and if that is of concern to you, then the steps that I've gone through in this video should help you resolve that issue. As I said, I'm gobsmacked, I'm horrified. It was a terrible experience to see things that I never expected Adobe to have access to sitting there on Adobe's website. I know that this will happen with the iPhone because it happened to me it may also happen with Android devices, just be aware of it. Before we finish up, let's have a look briefly at what happened with the iPhone. On the iPhone, I just finger pressed on Lightroom and then pressed the X button to remove the Lightroom application. Then I went to the App Store and I found Lightroom and downloaded it again. And then I, of course, needed to set it up. So I tapped on the Lightroom button. And I'm going to show you the image that popped up because this is what you're going to see. And I'm not able to see it again because I already dealt with this. So the very first thing is, do you want to auto add new photos from your camera roll? And given what we've been just covering, the answer to that is going to be no. So I made sure that that was disabled and clicked got it. And then I went ahead into Lightroom. So I'm tapping on Lightroom here and you can see that in actual fact, I've managed to recover all the photos that were still left in Lightroom CC on Creative Cloud, but none of my photos from my camera roll, thankfully. So to make sure that you've got things set up at any point, you can go to the little three icons, the little three buttons in the top right corner. 
you'll get access here to the features that you need to make sure that you have set up. And what you want to do is check in import and in import you want to select to disable auto adding from the camera roll both your photos and your videos. So that's in the import area. So if you already have Lightroom CC installed on your phone, you want to go to settings and tap on that import option to just double check that. Cloud storage and sync is also a feature that you can use to see just how many photos you've got backed up and things about your cloud storage. And obviously you probably want to disable use cellular data because you don't want to be wasting cellular data uploading large files and worse still if it's your camera roll uploading those. So I hope that helps you understand what was going on with Lightroom CC on my phone and Adobe Creative Cloud. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me for this YouTube video.